been 200 years since the fall of America. Our cities are now surrounded by walls for our protection. But the issue with walls is there's no more room to go outward. We have been experiencing a food shortage for the last 10 years. There have been riots, murders, looting. It has been hectic. As an agriculture specialist here at Frontier, I have been tasked and assigned with planting arable fields outside the wall. Can we save this city? Let's find out. Well, hello and welcome back everybody to Operation Saving Frontier. I just got done having a meeting with all my farm managers back in my farm here inside the wall, and they told me I'm doing a horrible job. Now, they recommended I should start expanding the farm more, but we don't have much money. 461000 all that land out there costs quite a bit. And they also mentioned uh, probably getting into some oil. I mean, hey, why not oil? I mean, it's quite a bit out there. Oil pumps are all out there. And uh, I mean, they do cost quite a bit of money. We don't exactly have the money for it. But they did tell me a easy way of making some money would be transporting all the sand and dirt. So looks like I might be getting into that today. But we got quite a bit to do. And we also talked out quite a bit of plans for our contracts for the mayor. Let's take a look at that. We do have roosters at three months old right now. They're going to be coming up on 11 month and then they'll sell automatically. Lettuce, we got lettuce. We got 150,000 liters straw so this is all complete just waiting for those roosters to age and then i get the rest of it sold we have tomatoes i need to plant soybeans and barley now good thing this soybeans is three years from now on year three is when it's due because we wouldn't have made it the harvest is after the due date and then we need to start looking into getting some pigs and sheep on the farm and planting some trees for the wood and looks like the mayor just gave me a new list here we got mayor email we need to get four of them straw solid fertilizer rams lettuce in cotton oh well that's all the stuff we got to do he just updated that list i did hear a little bit of a rumor about a bunch of sand being out here in this direction so i'm gonna go out here and check it out oh looky there on our way out here we saw this little collectible thing let me check this out real quick see how much money we have quite a bit of money in that barrel I'm surprised there's no lid on it but oh well six hundred and fifty thousand. that put us at 1.1 million we're gonna get into that black gold oil we're gonna need two million dollars so we got to come up with another nine hundred thousand dollars maybe this month or so i'm not too sure if that's gonna happen it's not looking like it but over here is just a ton of sand and then eventually it turns into dirt there is a lot over here so quite a bit here i got an idea for this gotta spend some money though gotta spend money to make money i guess this is also the month i need to plant and I'm gonna go ahead and return this planter cedar here. It's not a direct drill I was gonna cultivate, but uh, I'm gonna try to avoid that. I think I got a bigger one that's gonna work out quite a bit better. Looking at this one here, it is wider. Might hold more, don't know. It's got some liquid fertilizer in it, which is pretty good, I guess. I can use that with my larger tractors to expand that tank capacity. And the seems like the liquid fertilizer doesn't run out as fast. I have tried this in the past. It did not do a direct drill, but Rambo Hacker Gamer helped me out there and got the XML file out of it so it should work now as direct drill even though it says it sees directly it didn't work in the past maybe just a little file mess up there but let's go ahead and buy this thing you know due to the fact that i'm kind of worried it might not still work i'm gonna go ahead and lease it before i get started with the planting i want to go ahead and get it all limed up and going while i got this worker over here liming i'm gonna head back over to that sand and dirt area and start working on that and we'll see how i get everything set up over there in just a minute found this truck on sale it is 23 percent off but all together here i did add, upgrade the engine of course 1500 horsepower so we're looking at 190 i I'm gonna go ahead and buy this. Can't lease it because it's in the sale area. Let's go ahead and buy this. I got the rigid set up. That way I could put like a dump trailer on the back of it for all that sand. And this should be the dumper that goes with it. I am gonna go with the unreal capacity, 82,000, wait, wait, hold on. 820,000 liters. Holy cow, wasn't expecting that. Let's go ahead and buy this for $18,000. And I'm gonna go ahead and go with this type of belt system thingy that I usually use for something like this, I guess. Uh, this sh should just pick up the sand and dirt and drop it right into the back of that truck for me. $18,500, we'll buy that. I was thinking about going with the wheel loader, but I really didn't wanna put in that much work, I guess. I think I gotta buy the land first. I'm really starting to think this is not gonna be worth it and a huge mistake. Well, let's go with $807,000 for this piece of land. Um, man 
Yeah, let's buy it. Oh, yep, looks like I did. I had to buy it, and now it's dropping right into the truck there. Little trick here, there is kind of an easy way to do it. Just use the truck to back up into it, and then all you gotta do is get lined back up and just keep filling up and up and up. So I'll back it up as that runs out, that little area, and then I'll pull forward and get it loaded up. So let's get all this loaded up, see how much we end up with. Well, I know it's gonna be quite a bit of liters, but let's see how much money we make from it. Hopefully it's worth it. I mean, we are down to $116,000. <laughs> got a feeling it's not going to be worth it. I'm really surprised the reach it's got. I haven't moved it, and it's still grabbing from all the way back there in the back. You can kind of see how it's disappearing. I'm afraid to move because I don't think it should be picking that far up back there, but it, it's working. I'm going to sit here until this thing stops. If it could just take everything from this whole entire area, that would be amazing. And there we go. Got this direct drill finally set up correctly, and looks like I left the tanks open, but Oh well, let's see if this is working out perfect or not. Nitrogen levels, perfect. pH value, perfect. I mean, I did just go through Lyman before I did this. So yeah, that's working now. I guess uh mod I downloaded just had a little bit of an issue in the XML file, but easy fix and got it going. I'm really happy about that. Kind of interested in trying to probably speed up this whole sand thing. I'm going to buy it, another one for 18500 I don't know if I'm going to run it to a different trailer or just set it up with that truck right back there. Yeah, something kind of like this where I'm going to have two of them going at once. Hopefully this obviously will probably speed it up some. One of them is almost completely out. That's why it keeps going and stopping, going and stopping, stopping and going. Let me get it repositioned and keep this thing filling up. I'm trying to talk myself out of buying like 10 of these things. <laughs> we are finally completely full and yes, I do have three of them now. Lucky I don't have like a hundred of them. <laughs> Let's go get this sold, see how much money we make. I mean, it's 820,000 liters, but I'm not going to sell it quite yet. I'm going to set up another trailer to start receiving some of that sand or dirt. That way it doesn't slow down my production, I guess. Now, this one only holds 200,000 liters, so it should go a little bit faster as far as filling up. I got the truck on its way back over to the sell everything. That is the only place we are allowed to sell. So we'll see how much money we make off that full truck load here in just a second. But man, I'm just watching how fast that leader count goes up that's pretty nice i like that pulling in to sell everything now hopefully this goes here or i can sell it here <laughs> and no i can't wait a second there we go just had to switch something up there this better be good money because i'm really starting to think this was a huge mistake i mean i don't see it being good money but there's a lot of it so maybe it'd be good money down the road but this was definitely a mistake Seventy four thousand eight hundred thirty two dollars plus a seven thousand six hundred sixty environmental score reward and i hit the wrong button not sure if that was worth it or not and this one's already filled up and something needs to be refilled probably my cedar it's still going and yes it is i actually ran out of seeds looks like on my last trip here but you might be able to tell right over there quite a bit of it's getting missed whenever it takes off with the worker at least I'll have to go through and fix all that. Not too big of a deal. It's not that much. Now, I do have some seeds left over from whenever I sold my last cedar. Now, the one I just returned, I didn't empty it out. I should have, but I emptied out my other one that I had to start with. And there should be some in here, and looks like there is. Hopefully, there's enough to fill this up. And I'm going to go ahead and top off my fertilizer while I'm here. Got this trailer full back over. It's only 200,000 liters. I mean, it's going to give me some money. I mean, definitely don't think I'm going to make my return on that land. I, I'm not sure. I mean, if you want to count the collectible, yeah, I guess I will. There we go. $18,251 plus a $1,868 environmental score reward. This cedar is done. I did miss quite a bit. I'm going to go through and go ahead and touch all those up real quick and probably go ahead and get the corners also. You can see how it misses right over there. I mean, that's pretty normal whenever I do rounded edges. I guess I'll go ahead and fix it up. Maybe get a little bit better harvest out of this. We were planting the barley here and soybeans are not up to plant yet. That's going to be in April so we got quite a ways to go there. I do have two other fields. I'm going to probably save those for the soybeans. Completely done planting. I should have went ahead and bought this cedar. It just didn't cross my mind until after I was done. I leased it because I wanted to make sure it actually worked. But now we got the roll. So let's go ahead and get hooked up and do that. No, this is just an accident waiting to happen. No way. <laughs> I guess it cleared it. I was really kind of concerned about that. I mean, it's totally missing the bed, but I guess it's working I don't, I don't know we got a whole nother load of dirt let's or sand i guess let's go ahead and empty that in here see how much money we make should be about the same as last time i think got a total of seventy four thousand eight hundred thirty two dollars plus a seven thousand six hundred and sixty dollar environmental score reward now we're up to two hundred twenty seven thousand dollars yeah i i think if i clear all that out it would be worth it but that will also take hours and hours to do 
So this was definitely a bad idea. <laughs> yes, this was a million dollar mistake for sure. Well, now I got four of them going. Uh, so yeah, this is taking forever. Do have this trailer full of sand, 200,000 liters. Let's see how much money we make off of it. $18,251 plus a $1,868 environmental or reward i need two million dollars well rollers all done on this field but like all great workers that i hire they end up missing some so let me go around fix all that up then i think i'm gonna go ahead and skip to the next month and do a grass harvest coming in with another load of sand seven thousand oh okay seventy two thousand eight hundred and forty three dollars plus the seven thousand four hundred seventy one dollar that really threw me off with the that only being seven thousand on the top number oh i was worried well that's actually gonna wrap up this episode i got the mower going the forage wagon picking up the grass and of course i still got multiple trailer trucks going over there at that sand pit that is probably a huge huge mistake but on the plus side i did hear there was a huge protest going on outside about the high prices so hopefully we can get the prices lower back down and maybe make a little bit more money off that but i don't know we are sitting at three hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars. it's i mean we started this episode with so much more i'm telling you this right here was a huge million dollar mistake and i couldn't believe it but hey i just want to say thank you so much for stopping in and watching if y'all haven't already please hit that like and subscribe button and if you got any tips tricks or suggestions feel free to drop them down in the comment i would love to hear of how y'all been picking up this sand and until next time y'all take care Thank you.